The next class of uh, subdivision Teropsida is class Gymnospermi. They are a successful group of plants and they are worldwide in distribution and they comprise of uh, about one by third of a uh, world's forest. They are also called as naked treated plant uh, because of the fact that their uh, ovule is not covered by ovary wall or it's not covered by a fruit. You can see here that gymno, uh, this is the gymnosperm seed uh, which is naked while it in angiosperm seed it is covered by the ovary wall. That is why they are known as naked seeded plants. Uh, if we look into the examples of the class gymnospermi, uh, we have wide range of uh, plants. Uh, for example, cycas which is also called as sago palm and uh, we have example of texas and then Pinus is an, another example of a class gymnospermi. Now we will switch to the life cycle of uh, Pinus. You can see here this is a sporophyte of a, a Pinus plant and uh, it comprises of pollen strobili uh, which is also called as microstrobili and a seed cone which is also known as megastrobilus. So megastrobilus forms female gametophyte while uh, pollen strobili or uh, microstrobili forms male gametophyte. And if we look, look into the seed cone or a megastrobilus, it is comparatively larger in size and it is uh, covered by integument and uh, it comprises of megasporangium. So uh, inside megasporangium meiosis occurs and it forms four, four cells. Uh, while out of these four cells one remain functional uh, which is called as uh, functional uh, megaspore and uh, functional megaspore ke under hi mitosis hoti hai idhar hi taake female gametophyte ban jai. Or similarly the case with pollen uh, strobili which is also called as microstrobili. Uh, we can see the scale of microstrobilis and uh, it has microspore mother cell. And it's been meiosis hoti hai and microspores produce hoti hai. And these microspores forms pollen grains. And the wind carries pollen from microstrobilis to a megastrobilis. In case of pinus, both are present on same plant, microstrobilis and megastrobilis. So uh, the pollen grains are carried to the female gametophyte and they fertilize the female gametophyte there. And uh, you can see here, this is the uh, embryo, which is developing embryo. Or if we have a scale, ko dekhe, to scale pe seeds hai. Or if we have seed ko magnify kare, to inside of the seed is a embryo. And in addition to the embryo, which is 2N, or which is fertilized, uh, it has gametophytic tissue, which is food provide food, which we talked about earlier, is mitosis, se bana hai, gametophytic tissue. Uh, it actually provides food to the growing embryo. And this is seed code. So integument tha, jo humne pehle baat ki thi, there was integument. It has now been converted to seed code, which provides protection to the growing embryo. And on the uh, formation or on the presence of uh, favorable conditions, uh, this is developed into seedling. So we can also summarize the whole procedure by looking at this diagram. Uh, we can see here that this is sporophyte and uh, uh, this is a seed cone and uh, it produces ovule and uh, ovule is actually megasporangium uh, which contains megasporophyte and uh, it has an integument which is a protective layer hai around it and uh, it undergoes meiosis or meiosis se four cells produce hote hai, and one remains functional as we can see here uh, likewise yaha par uh, micro uh, sporangium ka bhi uh, unhone cycle show kiya hua hai and uh, we have a pollen cone scale here and iske andar uh, we can see that uh, uh, micro sporangium is present and why the process of meiosis microspores are produced and they form pollens aur hum yahan pe dekh sakenge ki pollens are winged aur uh, they are pollinated by uh, their wings or by wind pollin uh, pollination और यहाँ पे हम ये भी नोट करेंगे कि यहाँ पे वाटर की, we they do not need water for their pollination or dispersal 
actually they need wind for their dispersal. It is another important step in their adaptation to the land environment. And uh, when they reach megagametophyte, they there fertilize the egg and uh, this forms the zygote. Uh, more than, uh, it is to be noted here that more than one uh, pollen, uh, sorry, the pollen may, my, uh, may uh, fertilize more than one egg, but one zygote is viable and it makes an embryo. And uh, this embryo then uh, develops inside this uh, whole structure which is called a seed and uh, on uh, uh, favorable condition it is converted into the, uh, the mature sporophyte plant. So this is all about the class gymnospermy.